So the big question is, if I get a smoker, can I get rid of my grill? I mean, look how small my yard is. I really can't have both of these units taking up that much room. Now, I already dove into that experience in another video, and I will leave that video link in the description if you guys want to know more. But what if you don't have to choose? What if we can go ahead and combine these two units into one? Well, that is what Lifetime did. Now, Lifetime is a brand that makes things like folding chairs and tables. They make ice chests, a lot of outdoor things. Well, they also now make grills. Now, Lifetime did send this out, but they are not sponsoring this video. So like always, we're going to be talking about the good and the bad. This is a grill and a pellet smoker. So here we have is the Lifetime Pellet Smoker and Grill. This is a 742 inch cooking surface right here. We have our enamel coated grill grates on top. It's kind of messy in here, but that's because we just finished cooking those Korean short ribs on there, which were absolutely amazing. But this thing has got a lot of cooking surface on it. If we take a look down below, we've got our four burners right here, which is pretty awesome. We've got our fusion fuel, which we'll talk about in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and if we take a look below, we've got storage down below here. And then we've also got our grease bucket down there. So that is the grease bucket for when you're doing smoking, different things like that. So it's awesome that it's catching it down there. Let's go ahead and close this guy up. Over on the side here, we have got a storage bin on the side. So this is really nice to store anything that you need to keep out of the weather, which makes it really nice. We also have the startup instructions right here. So you can always go ahead and reference that. I do like it because this is weatherproof, so you don't have to worry about getting any kind of water or moisture in there. We've got our hooks right here for hanging accessories. We have got our igniter right there. This right here is where the propane tank is. So if we wrap around to the back here, we've got our propane here in the back. We've got a handle here for moving it around. What's nice with this one right here is that it's got wheels on both sides. So we have our caster wheels on this side that can lock. We've got our other wheels on that side, which just makes this thing super easy to maneuver around, but then also lock it in place when you are done. Over on the other side over here, this is going to be our pellets. So this is cool because you can put 20 pounds of pellets into this hopper right here. I absolutely love that because I do buy the 20 pound bags of Traeger pellets. I can fit a whole bag into this one right here, which is really nice. Down below here, we have got our control board. This is where we're gonna use to do all of our smoking. So you do have to have this plugged in. I'll go ahead and power it on. It's only at 75 right now. We've got our different monitors for our three different meat probes that we have right here. So those also come included with it. Um, you can prime it if you need to do that, but if we're going ahead and push on start right here to turn it on, we can set our temperature. So we've got our set temperature right here. This can go as low as 180, which is gonna be high smoke, or maybe it's heavy smoke. And then you can actually turn it up to there. This one goes all the way up to 400. So you can go up to 400 with this right here, but it's also got this fusion fuel. So if you need some extra heat, you can always turn on these burners and work it in conjunction with the smoker right here, which is pretty cool. Also as a part of this unit right here, down below here, you can actually open this up and drain all of your pellets out of the bottom. If you want to do that, get rid of all the pellets back there. If we take a look here on the back, we have got our plug. So as I mentioned, this does have to be plugged in to work on the smoke side. The burner side is going to be with the propane tank over here, but if you want to use smoke, it does have to be plugged in and powered on. And then it's got a pretty cool way to clean it out. We'll go into that more in a bit, but all you're gonna do is push on both sides. Let's go ahead. And this whole tray will pull out for you to be able to easily clean everything that you need to with this right here. Well, even though Lifetime is a well-established company, I gotta say that my bar was pretty low considering that they've never made a grill before. I wasn't expecting too much when they sent this thing out, but I was really surprised on how well everything was built and put together. With that said though, it did take forever for me to assemble this thing. I think it took about three hours for me to put this grill together. There are a lot of pieces and a lot that goes into getting this thing together. But once I got it together, I was really impressed with the quality, actually, except for one piece, which I'll get to in a little bit. Now, using this as a propane grill is pretty straightforward. You just turn on your burners and everything is fine. Now, I did notice with the burners is that I didn't get really a giant flame underneath, uh, especially when I had it all the way up on high. The heat was a little bit low. I found that it took a little longer than my other propane grill to warm up, 
And even sometimes when I would just use one side of it with two burners to grill a couple of pieces of chicken, I noticed that it didn't get super hot. Once I turned on that third burner, it really got hotter or hot enough to really put some good grill marks on the chicken like I liked. Now switching over to the pellet smoker was pretty much just as easy. It's got the full control panel right there. You're going to go ahead and turn it on, set your temperature, and that's pretty much it. I mean, it's pretty set it and forget it, just like what I have with my Traeger. I got some nice smoke coming out the chimney on the top. However, I did notice that there was quite a lot of smoke that vented out of the back of the grill. I guess with this being also a grill and a smoker, we've got the extra venting on the back like we would for a normal gas grill, but now we're losing a lot of the smoke out of the back. Now, as far as comparing this unit to my Traeger, which I have had for years, all the cook times were the same, all the temperatures were the same. I used all the same recipes that I normally did. I didn't have to tweak a thing. So I got pretty much the exact same result as I would have a Traeger, which I was really happy with. Now, as far as things I've cooked on this grill, we've done pork ribs, I've done tri-tip, I've grilled up uh, fish and chicken and vegetables, hamburgers, hot dogs, all the standard stuff that I typically grill outside. So I use the app, pretty straightforward. You can't turn on the grill from the app. You have to do that ahead of time, and that is for safety reasons. But here is the app right here. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the temperature. I can set the temperature that I want to do. Let's go ahead and do 250 and confirm. So temperature for 250, yes. And then down below there, we've got our meat probes. So we've got our three different meat probes down there. I can go ahead and set the different ones with different alarms. We've also got our cook time down there on the bottom. And essentially this thing is just going to fire up. So this is a good way for us to kind of set things that we want to set and then just kind of monitor everything from there. So not a whole lot to do with the app. Now, as far as cleaning out a unit like this, it's something that they recommend doing after every cook. So essentially, if you are going to be smoking something, so like ribs or a brisket or tri-tip or something like that, there's going to be a lot of drippings down below. Once that happens, you don't really want to use the grill side and turn on that flame and catch all of those drippings on fire. So it can be kind of dangerous. I would recommend that you clean it out. Um, or at least clean off that area after every cook. Now for cleaning this unit out, it's super easy. On the back, the whole shelf is gonna pull out. So you're going to slide the clips to the side, pull the whole unit out, and then from there, I just take a plastic spatula and scrape everything off. So once that is all scraped off, if we look down below the burners, we can see where all of the ash is from the pellet grill. You're gonna wanna vacuum that out, make sure it's nice and clean down there. So I went ahead and I typically vacuum that out. I also vacuum out it down in the fire pot that's in there too to make sure that all of the ash in there is cleaned out. So it's pretty easy to clean this thing out. And I would say after about, you know, 15, 20 minutes, it's done. So it's not too bad. All right, like with all units out there, nothing is perfect. And so let's go ahead and talk about some of the negative things, I guess, that I found with this. Like I said, it is very well built and put together, but, oh, and this thing killed me when I saw it, is that after several months, we went through the rain. I mean, it's now spring, winter's over. Even with a cover on, I started developing rust on the unit and I was shocked to see it and kind of disappointed with it. And the rust is coming from several different screws on the unit. So I've got two screws that are underneath the lid that are rusting. I also have the screws that are holding the handle on are rusting. And then down below, some of the screws for the doors look like they are starting to rust too. It is so unfortunate to see, especially with how expensive this unit is, that we're seeing rust on cheap screws. That is something that definitely needs to be fixed, especially with a product at this price point. If I do find out that there has been an update in the supply chain, I'll go ahead and put a comment or put it in the description that that has been fixed, uh, just so you guys are aware of it. So maybe this won't even be an issue in the future, but as far as my unit, which is about seven months old, uh, it is a problem. But I would say other than that, it's been great. I've been using it uh, solely for the last seven months. I have not used my other grill or the Traeger smoker in that time and everything has been cooked or smoked on this device right here. And I gotta say, uh, I actually like it a lot. So what do you guys think of having a combo like this? Something that is a pellet smoker and also a grill in one unit really helps save on space. And that's something that's big for me having such a small backyard. I don't want it full of smokers and grills and different things like that. So this is something that I appreciate, but let me know in the comments what you guys think. Also, if you have any other questions about this unit, leave it in the comments and I will do my best to answer those questions for you. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you guys in the next video.